So this is my 2015 WRX I got fairly recently. I've always had a Valentine radar in my car, and I wanted to find a way to hide it well in the new WRX. Now one day I was looking around in the car, and I noticed this pouch right here, right where you would, uh, on the vanity mirror, is perfect for it. It sticks out here on the side, you can still control it. And then what I did was I didn't even buy any other cables or anything. I just took the telephone wire cable and I tucked it in all the way along the headliner, all behind it, down into the A pillar. It's completely hidden, you can't see it whatsoever. And then it's tucked away underneath here. If I open the door, you'll see it on the side here. It's the only time you can see the cable. It goes underneath all the way, it sticks back out here, and it plugs into the cigarette lighter. So the reason I wanted to do this is the V1 comes on whenever the car is on, turns off whenever the car is off. And also you have an accessory port here, and I was going to get the mobile display, or the uh, remote display for the V1, mounted here. Because although this is a great location, you want the V1 to be as high as possible, you don't see the screen so you don't have the arrows if you have it up here. This way, I'll have the arrows down here right next to the unit, and uh, it'll be a nice stealthy, you don't have to worry about having it in your windshield and someone breaking your windshield and taking it. From the outside, I'll show you, you can't even tell. Can't even tell it's in the car. Not to mention, I'm also going to be putting a windshield tent strip of about four to six inches on there. There'll be absolutely no way to know there's a radar in this car from the outside. And on the inside, unless you know it's there, you're not even going to know about it.